<laughs> so, I'm so excited. I can't like talk to the camera. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. It is out of the ordinary for sure, but it is the first video in my journey of a new chapter on this YouTube channel. Just, oh, this is gonna be so great. I'm so excited. Anyway, like the excitement, I can't, can't talk. Ah, ooh, okay, I'm fine. If you haven't been up to date on my YouTube channel, Instagram lately, I've been dropping hints slash talking about my plans to build my own teardrop camper and travel the US reviewing vegan restaurants along the way. I'm basically taking the Is It Hype show on the road. Now the first step in this journey is to find a camper that suits my needs and that I could afford. I initially started looking at, you know, a, a whole bunch of really cool campers, but most of them are for some reason, the smaller ones sold out of Europe and the shipping makes it very impractical. The campers I did find in the United States were either incredibly expensive, I'm talking like $25,000 and above, or just weren't the correct size, didn't fit my needs, or were just like kind of like really gross, like somebody made them out of like aluminum siding and, and that's not really the look I was going for or the quality that I needed for these trips. As I was perusing the internet, I found a video of somebody making a teardrop camper out of wood and basically having like fiberglass resin coating on top to make it waterproof and it looked so beautiful and the size was perfect and the dimensions were perfect I absolutely fell in love so I looked into the maker of this camper and it was Chesapeake Lifecraft Ch Ch what Chesapeake Lightcraft um, and this is how it works so you can buy a ready-made camper for around $17,000 or you can buy the parts and an instruction manual think of it as like a giant Lego set and then build it your own this method is much cheaper and very much more personal in my opinion and just gets me more excited so that's the option I decided to go with the parts and the manual cost about twenty $2,700. Of course you have to factor in that you need a trailer on top of that and however whatever you want to outfit your trailer with but I became addicted to the idea of building my own teardrop camper from scratch. So today I made a very important trip. I drove four hours to Maryland to see <laughs> the model camper at Chesapeake Lightcraft myself. Even though $2,700 is definitely a lot cheaper than a lot of the other options I saw, it's still quite an investment for me and I wanted to be able to see a model of the camper in person before I made that big purchase. I did however mess up tremendously by coming here on a Saturday. Three hours into the road trip with my dad, my dad is also excited about this. He likes stuff like this, so he wanted to come with. I was on the website and I saw that the showroom is closed on Saturdays. Um, I was very much deflated, but I was not deterred. I emailed and I called and I tried to get in contact with the owners in any way possible and I actually got through to them. The salesperson is driving it over to us as we speak and this four hour road trip will not be in vain. I'm super excited to be checking it out with you guys and I'm going to be bringing you guys along in this journey as detailed as possible for those of you interested in doing this in the future or for those of you who are just like insanely curious. I'll be keeping these videos separate from my main content, like putting them in a different playlist because I know not everybody will be interested in something like this. Um, but for those of you who are, stay tuned. I'm so excited to be going on this journey with you. Like I'm so freaking excited. Like. Like, you know when you're little and your excitement's just like It's like that, you know? So I will see you any minute now when the teardrop camper finally gets here. It's here. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. All right, so here's the thing. I don't even know where to start. I stopped recording for a minute because I was just like, taking in information. I'm currently inside it. You know what, let me turn this around. I'm making history. I realize it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than I initially thought because some of the add-ons are quite necessary. For example, this little guy over here, this vent, necessary, also an add-on, a couple hundred dollars. This foam insulation, necessary, also a couple hundred dollars. The lights are also an, an add-on. Um, and the fact that I'm getting the fan and maybe the lights means I'm also gonna need this, uh, let me show it to you, let me turn around. This little breaker box thing um, to, to control all of the electronics. And it also means I'm gonna need to buy a battery. 
I have to sit and like add up everything uh, before we leave just so I have a more a better understanding of how expensive this is gonna be oh yeah there's also speakers and a radio which are not necessary in my opinion at least not for me um, oh oh and these mushroom vents so I have this vent this vent also I'd have to add on to it so there is a few more things I didn't have in mind but that's why it was good that I got here uh, let me hobble outside here's a little bit of an overview so basically these sheets come pre-cut from Chesapeake Lightcraft you bend it yourself um, and then you, then you um you bolt it down with these little staples I don't know what they're correctly called but they're little staples once they're bent down with these little staples then you tape it together with like a fiberglass tape and then put epoxy over the whole thing once it's epoxied you actually have to cut out the doors so you have to cut out the doors, um, add all of this, this little stuff. I am so sorry. Um, you have to add this little thing over here. I don't know if you can see, like this is like a lining thing right here. Um, you also have to cut out this big flap on top. Um, I'll try to show you how that looks like. So this whole thing actually you have to cut out yourself after you've epoxied it. Yeah, so these gas springs, um, you attach it so it like opens and closes. Um, you also have to cut out space for these mushroom vents and this is for charging the battery. You have to cut this out too. Um, there are a bunch of add-ons which I'll talk about later after she leaves so I don't like, you know, bother her too much. But uh, for example, like mine won't have this this whole like kitchen area is an add-on also the speakers this cargo area is an add-on that i will not be purchasing it is um like a few thousand dollars and i just don't need it right now and this is an add-on that i will not be purchasing the racks is an add-on that i will not be purchasing but after it's all said and done it's still going to be quite more expensive than the 2700 that i initially talked to you guys about the uh trailer itself is also i think she said like 1600 dollars um, that i'm gonna have to purchase they're currently having a fall sale so i'm considering purchasing it like during this sale and just having them ship it to me um in april when i decide to start building so that's something i'm gonna talk to my dad about we'll, we'll see what we're gonna do about that yeah i think that's it for like the actual thing here's another good look at it it is absolutely beautiful and then i'm gonna talk to you later about like add-ons and 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 stuff like that I'm, I'm pushing the button. I'm about to. Oh, I'm about to. Okay, I'm not a robot. Okay, I'm about to hit the button for the place your order. Whew, I'm about to hit it. Shipping is three hundred and forty-five dollars, so the total is two thousand eight hundred and nine dollars. I'm about. Oh, I'm about to. <laughs> I clicked it. <gasps> I did it. I freaking did it. I bought it. What the frick? <gasps> As you can tell from that video with very little context, I did purchase the base kit. I just bought it. I really wanted to take advantage of the $300 off and I'm glad I did because it was like $300 shipping. So uh, I guess I paid like the regular price with free shipping. I Kind of, I don't know. Long story short, it was a lot. It was a lot. I was very stressed purchasing it. I was like, what if this is a mistake? What if this is too big of a commitment? Um, but I just did it. I actually had my dad on the phone with me, like right before I did it, like hyping me up. He's the best. I love my dad. Anyway, it was $2,809, this much money, which honestly for the craft is not that much. It's gonna be the time and effort that my dad and I put into the camper that's gonna be like the real investment because $2,800 is nothing compared to like a finished one which is like I think from that company it's gonna be $17,000 and then like other little teardrop trailers I've seen go up to like 30k so uh, that is way out of my budget so uh, $2,809 is much more reasonable for me that being said it's not going to be $2,809 uh, there are many add-ons that I need and what I did before shooting this is try to calculate the rest of my investment this is for people who are like really curious the rooftop vent kit with fan is $198. The interior headliner, which is like the foam insulation on the inside, which I would say is pretty necessary, is $345. The electrical template, oh, that's just like, 
like a map for how to like cut it so you could like put wires through it is $20. And then the mushroom vents on the front and the back of the craft is $64. I need a marine grade battery, which they don't sell, but I can get online or whatever. I looked it up. It's around $100. And this is like really threw me off. So like the marine grade battery doesn't come with a charger. Like you can't like it doesn't come with a charger, you have to buy a charger separately, which is like an extra $100. So the battery and the charger is like 200 total, okay? Then we need a mattress for the inside, I can get one for like 60 bucks. A rocker panel switch is like 40, a battery switch is 20, a power charge inlet is 20. Altogether, I calculated the add-ons to be around $969. Right now we are at 3,778, and I obviously need a trailer itself. If I buy a trailer from the company where I buy the kit from it's gonna be fifteen hundred dollars but I'm gonna try my best to get it elsewhere because I feel like that's isn't that expensive I feel like that's expensive so I'm going to be putting my worst case scenario which is you know buying the trailer from them so I'm just gonna be like plus fifteen hundred dollars so everything together is gonna cost me five thousand two hundred and seventy eight dollars um, I already paid almost three thousand of that so I have a little bit of time to save up for the rest of it I purchased the trailer now, but I'm not planning on building it until around April or so. So I have the rest of October, November, December, January, February, March, six months to save up the rest of the money. So I think I'm gonna be fine. I am, however, going to get the manual sent over to me ASAP. This way I can like mentally prepare for everything and have enough tools and stuff. And when I do get the manual, I'm gonna shoot a video exploring the manual with you guys for those who are interested. So, I think that's it. That's my intro to my camper video. Uh, for those of you who are interested in this journey, I'm going to be making a playlist. For those of you who are not, don't worry, I have a lot of regular content planned for the next several months and beyond as well. That is all I have to say for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And if you regularly watch my YouTube videos, I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. So. I would appreciate it if you subscribed. If you watch my videos, then just subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. That is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Curates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Marcia, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, Vanessa, Nakia, and Angie. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.